Clearly, there are opportunities today for DevOps and, and other engineers to multiply their effect by using AI in a very structured way that should represent the way they're working already. I mean, you don't just necessarily skip the code, bypass like requirement development and design and test case development and stuff like that. You don't necessarily just do that. I mean, and skip right ahead to like, build me this. The view we, that I and others have right now is that we have to take this in steps. So if, if you think about product management, that step, it's a place where we want to essentially take the deliverables from that step, see if we can augment with AI to produce Given the fact that it's mainly a lot of words mm -hmm. and it's a translation of Correct. other words that mm -hmm. are provided in, whether it's feedback from customers or architectural feedback or performance feedback to the point of making something more performant. All this feedback loop stuff today happens and some human coalesces that into a requirement, some kind of epic, and then it's handed off to a developer at that point and a program manager. I think you've got to look at the entire development team. Right. program management, product management, the developer, and the QA environment and QA people, and maybe even the architecture people.